So now you're going to have to do some backtracking, which we all love doing. And moving along, you're gonna have to fight a few of these, so. Just slide, you're gonna have to slide twice to actually make it. Now, up, I believe, up here, there's a hidden area. Now, sadly, you cannot access it as of this moment, but it's kind of nice to just know it's there so you can put it on your place of where you need to go. And then, you come to the inner quarters. And I don't even know why I switched weapons because uh, there's another place, another hidden area. I'm trying to remember where it's at. Hold on. Also, if you're really good, you could get up there for the high mind up. Right here is another hidden area. And over here, how clever. A hidden area in a hidden area. I mean, that's very clever. So you can grab the high potion there. And in here's a witch. And you can get the ninja suit. If you can get the witch soul, it's also a really good soul for... A boss battle later in the game. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Ninja suit. So, along the way, you're going to fight some nemesis and some... Uh, those things, however you say their name. If you come over here... That uh, creature is going to stop time, so you cannot go there. However you say that, enemy's name, Parisphone, Ferrisphone, whatever it is, that's a really nice soul to have also because it saps up enemy health. It's really good against dead crusaders because you, you can still get health even while they're blocking your attack. Which, that's an enemy that comes later in the game. Okay, so it's time for, yes, another boss battle. And I don't know how many of you have actually seen the movie Return to Oz, which was a movie that came after uh, The Wizard of Oz. But the headhunter is kind of like some lady that was in the movie Return to Oz. The headhunter basically has three heads and you gotta defeat each of its forms. This first form is really easy because it's just a lady and she just uses her knife to stab you. If you struggle with this form, you are dead. Then it transforms into uh, either a really old lady or an old man that kind of resembles a lady or I don't know. But he has two attacks. 
One is the fireballs, as you can see, and the other is summoning lightning, which kind of is like uh, an enemy that was in Circle of the Moon. The fireballs are harder to avoid. So just work at it. The second form isn't too bad, but the hard form is its lizard form. And it is tough. It sprays poison powder, which will poison you obviously, and it has its long tongue. Now when it's down here, just duck, because its tongue can't avoid you when it's on the ground. It's really hard to hit it. And since it's so quick moving, it's really hard to hit. I really recommend you watch out for the poison powder more than anything. And when it's on the side, it's really annoying. And after you defeat it, you will get its soul. So don't think you're just lucky. You do get its soul. The Headhunter Soul will raise each of your stats, except for, I think, luck, one point for every 16 souls you get. And it's really not that great now, but later in the game, it's really good. So after that battle, come back and save before you continue on. And then you can continue on. Uh... Over in the room with the headhunter will be a witch now. Like I said, the witch soul is really nice. If you can get it, I really recommend you do. Now, you gotta come up here. This is a must. Unless you can die, there is one reason you don't have to come up here. But that would be if you're a skilled player trying to do a speed run. Uh, there's the Veil Cries there. And I don't understand the Veil Cry enemy at all. Because supposedly I saw some show that my friend showed me one time. And Veil Cries were like God's like fighting squad. Almost like God's army. But in this game, they're like they're beautiful a woman with a beautiful face and a wicked heart that's the definition so I don't really understand that enemy I don't know if Castlevania like needed more enemies or what cause Velcries aren't supposed to be bad people uh, you also fight uh, disc armors which aren't that easy Oh, by the way, Curlies, uh, I'm guessing that's how you say them. If you can get their soul, get it. Uh, it's a soul that can help you explore further in the castle. And if you can get it, you should get it. There's also two other souls that can take its place. And one is uh, an enemy you already saw, the uh, Manicor. And you could also get it off of some demon later in the game. Up here, grab a really, really good weapon. It's a poison sword. And it's got good range. It's a quick attack. 
And up here is what you came for. The Udin soul. The Undine soul. Something like that. And that soul allows you to walk on water. Which is vital to continuing further in the game. So just backtrack. I really like the sky background graphics here. It's so creepy. But yeah, it's so cool. Uh, you might want to go save again if you got too weak. You might want to save again just so your progress is saved.